Okay, this is part 41 of the community site series, um, and we're working on the add video page and the videos section. Um, so what we need to do now that we have our form basically set up, I'm actually going to increase that a little bit, um, is we need to create our button. So a type of submit, a name of submit btn we'll get rid of this style tag and add a value tag and the value will be add video I'm actually going to change the name to add btn so if we re-upload refresh we now have our form basically set up um, and that's pretty good maybe another pixel or two um, but anyway so we have our form basically set up. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to check for all of our, our stuff. So we're going to put in an if statement. And what we want to do is we're going to say if dollar sign underscore post. So we want to make sure that the add button has been clicked. And then our curly brackets. And then this needs to say else make it all nice. Um, so if our add button hasn't been clicked we're just going to show the form. Um, and if the add button has been clicked so we'll be inside of here, what we want to do is we want to get every item from our form, so our title, description, keywords, category, and video ID. Um, we actually need to set a name for the video ID. Um, video ID. That'll work. So let's get the title first. So just like getting the um, button using the same code except replacing with the correct things. We have description, keywords, category, and video ID. <coughs> okay, so I just paused and put everything in. Um, so after we have everything, what we're going to do is we're going to put in pretty much a bunch of if statements and this is to make it so it'll be nice and secure making sure that every single um, bit is there so our first one is we're gonna check for our title so dollar sign title and our message is gonna say you did not submit a title and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this and give it a nice indentation. Then we're going to have our description. Make sure it's spelled properly. And then you did not submit a description. Now if you don't want a, any of these required, just don't put in an if statement for it. So that'll just make it so you don't have to have it. Um, and we have keywords. You did not submit any keywords. Go ahead and throw this one in. Okay, so after keywords we have our category and then the video ID. So you did not submit, or you did not select a category, and you did not submit a video ID. You can put ID in caps. So that makes sure that everything is present. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reverse indent all of this stuff to make it so will all be the same so it'll save a little bit of space um, but obviously if you don't want to you don't have to. so yeah so what we're going to do before we proceed is we're going to go to our PHP my admin and we're going to go and create a database table okay so we're going to create a database table and name is going to be videos and the number of fields let's see we're going to need an ID we're going to need a user ID, username, so the person who posted it, and um, 
obviously the ID and the username of the person who posted. We're going to need the title. Um, we're going to need the description. Description. Um, keywords. Category. The video ID. Um, comments, because we're going to make it so users can comment on videos. Um, and we'll set that up later. And also, we will need um, a date, so the date that it was uh, posted. So we got 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pause and type all of these in. Okay, so I've got everything typed in here. Um, our ID is going to be set to a big int to um, account for lots and lots of videos. Um, and then we're going to set it to a primary key in auto increment. Our user ID is going to be set to a big int to account for lots of users. And our username is going to be set to a varchar of 50. Um, our title is going to be set to a varchar of 250. Bit of overkill, but why not? Our description is going to be text. Um, keywords will be varchar of 250. Um, now, you also may want to make that text depending on your own preference. Um, category is going to be varchar of 100. Video ID is going to be varchar of, let's see, uh, let's go with 20. Uh, comments are going to be set to, um, let's go with a medium int. Or, yeah, yeah, we'll just go with a big int. Screw it. Um, and our date is going to be set to a varchar of 50. It's going to hit and hit enter, and it'll submit everything. So it's been added and created. So we got our database set up. So we can go ahead and close this. And our add video page, what we want to do now is create a, um, require our connect file. So, um, it's in our styles folder, or is it scripts? Yeah, it's in a scripts folder. So, scripts slash connect.php. And then I'm going to throw a couple lines down and MySQL underscore close to close our MySQL connection. Um, and inside of here, we're going to create a query. I'm actually just going to get rid of these spaces. Oops. So inside of here, we're going to create a query. So MySQL underscore query. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this video hasn't already been posted. So we're going to say select um, star or asterisk from, and we called it videos. So our table name is videos, um, where video ID equals and our video ID variable. Um, let's see. Um, let's go with and actually no, we'll just stop there. Um, so it'll make it so um, the same video can't be on the server on, on the uh, in the database twice, which will also make it so you can't double submit. So yeah. So then we want our num rows, so mysql underscore, whoops, whoa, underscore num underscore rows, and inside is our query, like always, except it's got a dollar sign in front of it to make it a variable, um, and we're going to say if, get in our structure here, else go, alright, so our if statement is going to say if, num rows is equal to zero. So what we're saying is our num rows gets the total number of um, database matches according to our query. So we're seeing how many times our video ID is in our database. Um, and if the database is, let's say, not equal to zero, just in case. So if the num rows re returns a value that's not zero, which means it's in the database any number of times except for none, then we want to just say um, you can not 
had the same or mm, you cannot add a video that is already in the database I guess and then our form just in case go ahead and show that uh, and inside this if statement um, pretty much we're gonna have um, a MySQL query and we don't need to set it into a uh, into um, a variable there we go actually we will set it into a variable Let's set it into the query variable um, and I'll explain why I'm going to do that and we're going to say insert into videos uh, values and then our parentheses Whoops. and our parentheses and our first one is going to be our ID so we can just leave that blank our next one is going to be our user ID so the current user logged in then we have our username and then we have our title and then we have the description and make sure everything is spelled right and you have your quotations and uh, commas proper in the proper spots um, after description we have keywords um, and then we have let's see description keywords category video ID so dot sign category category there we go and then we have video ID and then after video ID we have comments which are just going to be set to zero and then and then we have um, a date variable which we have yet to create so we're gonna create our date variable real quick so we're gonna say dollar sign date equals use the date function and our format is going to be the same as for the comments so it's going to be capital F space lowercase d comma space capital Y so that's going to give us the um, October I think today's the 9th oh, it's almost the 10th couple more hours um, 2010 so it's going to look like that um, and after our query what we're going to do is we're going to do num rows equals and then our oops my skill underscore num uh -huh. there we go and then our query inside of here um, and the reason I'm doing this is to make sure that it actually has been added to the database um, because in some cases if for some strange reason it won't add to the database so we just want to make sure it's actually there so then we're going to say dollar sign num rows equals if it equals equals one so it, if it's in the database essentially um, and if it's not in the database we're going to echo um, font tags and we're going to say color equals red um, your video was not added to the database for some reason. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here. Um, in the next video, we will continue on with this.